Welcome back, everyone. Today, look at the birds. Oh, oh it's gonna be a good day. Going to be a good day. So, got a few things to chit chat about. First and foremost, huge, huge shout out to you guys. Thanks a lot for everyone's support. We're at, well, we're over 200 subscribers now. I appreciate that, guys. On the other side of the coin, I apologize for the lack of anything really the last month and a half. Uh, yeah, just been a been a great summer for weather. It's not so great for fishing. Low water, hot, just kind of nah, no bueno. But we're not trouting today. We're fishing the big blue, and if you can tell by all those birds. And the size of that jig lure I got on my rod, we're going cod fishing. So we're hoping to snag a few just down here off the rocks in front of my house. And uh, if the fish gods are cooperative, I also have a fly rod. So <laughs> we'll see what kind of mess I can get into with that. Now, let's see how far these feel. I'm just going to lob this out now. Just past this kelp line. That's probably too far. Let that sink a touch a whole lot. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm getting smashed. Come on. There you go. There you go. Oh, this might be a nice fish. Oh, there you go. Also. Bad. He'll eat for sure. Oh, now, <laughs> you want to see a racket? Please don't break. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh. Now, try that again. Cast number two. Little underhander. As far as it wants it to go, gonna let that sink, get through the smaller fish up top. So I think some of the bigger ones might be in the bottom. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Uh-oh. Let's take that bucket, pal. <laughs> okay, I gotta re-rack. Re-rack. <laughs> Alright, so cast two wasn't, you know, I did have a, a nibble or two there, I just couldn't set the hook. Most people do use a treble. I use a single hook. Um, I find it just doesn't tear the fish up as much and you know you can unhook them way easier. There you go. Oh fuck. Right out of his mouth. Downside is that little single hook I got is uh been bent out and bent back and straightened out again. That you will eat. There is fish everywhere. I'd say a lot of folks are over at Main Beach, which is over that way, doing their thing. Never even had a chance to hit the bottom. Took that in the drop.
fish, but he'll cook. He'll eat. The salad that comes with him. Woo! That's a freaking codfish gone mad there. Look. That's wild. Watch this. Isn't that wild? Did you ever see codfish do that? Insane. Insane. Well, that's it. I'm out of breath. There's only uh, 21 minutes of footage, I think, on the camera, looking at it. So, <laughs> doesn't take long when you're cod fishing. If they're there, it's every cast. Whew, that's some steep hill. Now, I have to go clean all those fish up, put all this stuff away, get it in the freezer, so I have some uh, food for over the summer and fall. Still a little bit of fishing left to do for the food fishery, so I might try to sneak a few more videos in of this, but, you know, I might have to resort to trying with the fly rod to make it a little bit more interesting, because, you know, it's only five cast, five fish type deal. You're really, you're fishing a barrel type deal, right? So, but anyway, <sighs> that hill's gonna kill me. Thank you, guys. We passed 200, next stop, I suppose we're going for 1,000. Let's keep this train rolling. Till next time, you know the deal. Tight lines.